Hello students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary. My name is Mr. Hope Laura. You know me as Mr. H. Today I am honored to have a special co-host with me. Her name is Brooke and she's in fifth grade. Say hi Brooke. Hi. All right well today is Wednesday October 28, 2020 and this is Good Morning, Good morning Mammoth Heights. Heights. All right let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. All right, so Brooke, let's see what we got today on our lunch menu. What do we got to, for today's lunch on this Wednesday? Today we have the cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, and the bistro box, which contains whole wheat crackers, cheddar cheese cubes, and sunflower seeds. Awesome. Are you a cheese pizza person? Um, I'm allergic to dairy, so I can't have it. Oh. Well, maybe the bistro box, or you take your own yes, lunch. sunflower seeds. There you go. <laughs> How about tomorrow's lunch, Brooke? Um, tomorrow we are having the pesto tornini. Tortellini. I don't know if I can pronounce that. That's correctly. pretty close. Bistro, and the bistro box, which contains ham and cheese croissant. All right. Well, boys and girls, those are your lunch choices for today and tomorrow. Let's now move on to our second step, lesson of the week. I'm going to help me hold up this word, Brooke. And the word is listening. Listening. So what does it mean to be a good listener here at Mammoth Heights Elementary? At our school, we all work hard to be the best learners we can be. One skill for learning is to listen with attention. When we listen with attention, our eyes are watching the speaker. Our ears are listening. Our voices are quiet and we're still. This week, practice being a great listener every day. You're a good listener, aren't you, Brooke? And that's how she's so smart. She's also a very, very good listener. And she's got a great big heart for a lot of people and helping them out, don't you, Brooke? Yeah. All right. Now, Brooke, I forgot to say before we started the show, I'm always, I always get nervous before the camera starts because I just ate broccoli. Do I have anything in my teeth? <laughs> I can't tell. Am I good? I can't tell. You, are you sure? You have a mask on. I can't oh, yeah. tell. We have masks on because, <laughs> hey, we are not social. We're not, we are, have to be in the same room. We're wearing masks. We're doing the right thing. Right, yeah. Brooke? We're being responsible. Okay. And then let's not forget about our energy bus, principle number two, and that is create a positive vision. Mm -hmm. When you create a positive vision for yourself, you set goals to help you achieve those big moments in your life whether you what maybe that's what you want to be when you grow up like Brooke what do you want to be when you grow up I want to either continue my YouTube career or become a teacher and Brooke does that start today yes absolutely it does Brooke is actually setting goals today so she can achieve a great learning day that can help her move forward towards her YouTube career starting like you're on YouTube right now <laughs> yeah. it's pretty cool right and uh, that's a little step towards that happening yeah because I already have a channel there you go and she wants to be a teacher and boys and girls I was reading over the weekend and on the snow day and I found this I wanted to share with everybody because it kind of makes me think about creating a positive vision and never giving up okay here's a fr here's some words from a book I was reading I wanted to share I will remove from my vocabulary that means Let's not even try to save these words, if at all possible. Such words and phrases as quit, cannot, unable, impossible, out of the question, improbable, failure, unworkable, hopeless, and retreat. Those are some words that may not do us any good as we work towards our positive vision. Unless you're saying you will not do it. Yeah, and you know what? We don't want to ever say quit. We want to persevere at the same time, right? So I loved seeing that list of words of trying to avoid as we work towards our positive visions for our future. I can't wait to see what Brooke here does with her future because I know she's working hard starting right now. Okay, let's now move on to our birthdays. Happy birthday today to Danica Lamers. And Haley Smiley. And because we didn't have a show on Monday or Tuesday due to the snow day, we did have a birthday on Monday. Happy birthday on Monday to Christopher Kindle. All right, happy birthday to you three. I'm going to try to find you to make sure you get your happy birthday pencil today. Okay, now from there, let's talk about our announcements. 
I was telling Brooke as we were preparing for the show, I have some announcements. First of all, it's Crazy Sock Day tomorrow. <laughs> crazy Sock Day. As we celebrate Red Ribbon Week, try to wear those crazy socks. It's a lot of fun. And this year, our Red Ribbon Week theme is to sock it to drugs. <laughs> so that's why we want to wear socks. At Mammoth Heights, we love our students and we want you to lead happy, healthy, fun, and wonderful lives. We know that by making healthy choices, like staying drug free, you are more likely to live the best life for you. So take a moment and commit yourself that you will continue to make healthy choices to ensure your bright future. You won't regret it. Okay, that is Red Ribbon Week. Tomorrow is Crazy Sock Day. Don't forget that Friday is Halloween Spirit Day, okay? Friday, we need to wear a costume that we can pretty much wear all day. You know, we, don't, we can't have our Halloween parties like we've had in the past. I know it's a bummer, but it's the yeah. world we're living in these days. We want to make sure we continue to keep a safe and healthy environment here at Mammoth Heights. And sometimes just having those parties is uh, not going to help us in maintaining a safe and clean environment. Right, Brooke? Safety and our health is our number one priority right now, right? Even if it's not fun, you can still like make your mask part of your costume if you want. But it's got to be a cloth mask, but it has yeah. to be part of, you can make it part of your costume. Yeah, like if you're a dentist, you could. Like, oh, that's a good idea. And like a giant. What a good idea. Thing. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> that's a great idea. And I, since you're talking about being a dentist, you know she's telling the tooth. <laughs> Get it? Tooth? Yeah. Dentist? No? <laughs> Not good? Okay. Another announcement for today. This one's coming from Chaparral High School, or directly from Chaparral. It says, attention future Wolverines. Chaparral Gold Crown tryouts are coming up. So this is for all of our 4th, 5th, and 6th graders. Wednesday, November 4th, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., where is it? It's at the Chaparral High School Main Gym. Come to be a part of the high school feeder basketball program at Chaparral. Games run from January through March. All players must wear a mask, but please enter through the East Athletic Entrance. So that's pretty cool. You'll also be getting this flyer to send home too, talking about the Chaparral High School gold crown tryouts for fourth fifth and sixth grade students that's pretty cool yeah all right well brooke that kind of concludes our show for today thanks so much for joining me did you have fun yep are you telling me the tooth yep all right <laughs> well that concludes our show for today boys and girls i hope you all continue to be a positive yeah, ambassador for mammoth Heights elementary. elementary exhibit leadership through our energy bus principles and demonstrate a... I'm sorry, my tongue got twisted. <laughs> <laughs> a love of learning each, each and, and every day. day. And remember to... Dream strive to come, because that's the name I play. Have a great Wednesday. Let's say goodbye. And how are you feeling on this Wednesday, Brooke? I, I feel, feel great. great. Yes. yes. All right, now we can say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.